Okay, so today I'm going to show you how I pack and ship paint, uh, pack paintings for shipping. Uh, in case anybody was wondering how I get these things shipped safely wherever they need to go. So this one is going to my friend Eric in Houston, and he will give it a good home. First, I wrap it in saran wrap just to keep it clean and keep anything from getting on it or from directly touching the painting. Okay, so I finished, or I got interrupted before I could finish wrapping up this package yesterday, so we're finishing it up today. I have it wrapped in saran wrap, and I have these first layers of cardboard all cut and scored the way I want them. And basically, the inside of this is the exact width of the outside of the painting, and I left an inch and a half on each side so we could do the padding edge. Nice pinch it, tape it, so that you end up with this nice little, this nice little area here that's going to prevent it from getting too banged up or banged up at all. There we go. Now it's all nice and padded up so you can't, it's not going to get banged up if this thing gets rocked in. It's not shaking around in there. It's not loose. Okay. Now comes the bubble wrap. You can tell I buy this stuff in bulk because it's cheaper that way in the long run. Saran wrap inside of a box, inside of bubble wrap, inside of more boxes. And if there's extra space on the edges, I'm going to stuff the edges with some more bubble wrap. And here's the finished product. Perfect. A little bit bubbled from the bubble wrap. But with the triple layer like we have going, it's not going to push on the painting. Ta-da! And then it gets fragile stickers all over it and shipping labels and everything. Hopefully uh, that explains to you how your paintings will be shipped when you order them online. Thanks.